All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to add a Raspberry Pi so we can monitor it here on our uh, software here. So if we hover over device, devices and click add device, we are going to put in the IP address of the Pi that we want to use. And I believe it's 137. Let me double check. Yep. 137. So, what we can do now is let that on, let everything default. Down here, we're going to put our community, and we named it public. Click add device. Now, this is probably going to fail because we need to change and add SNMP on the Raspberry Pi that we want to monitor. All right, so it failed. So we can come over here to our Pi and we can do an update. Now we're going to install SMMP here on the Pi. And we need to edit the file and uh, all that. So, what we can do now is install SNMP, SNMPD. We'll let that install. All right, with that, we can do a pseudo nano. And we need to get into the following file. Scroll down until we get to this guy. We're going to go ahead and change this to the 192.168.0.137. That's all we're going to do. So we're just going to change this to match the IP of the uh, Pi that we want to monitor. Then we'll do a control X, Y, and enter. Then let's go ahead and restart. The service. And we can go back up here to our Pi. And we can just do this again, but we didn't, don't really have to. But we can go ahead and put in our IP address, 137. On default, community public. Click add device. And there we go. We got the device added with no problem. So now if we go to our dashboard and we can click on all devices here and as you can see we have it right here. Now it's default generic kind of right now until it starts pulling some stuff in like this one here. So if we click on this guy and we can click on the uh, graphs for example. Now I just fired this Pi back up, but you can see here. That. Uh, it's starting to show some stuff. Might take a little bit for things to start coming back in. But as you can see. Shows a lot of uh, information for the Pi. Then, if we go back over here to devices, this is one of my switches. And uh, 
Now I'm just running this on a Pi 3, so it's a little bit slow. But you can see here some of my uh, ports on my switch. And some of the graphs here. So anyway, that's how you add a Pi to our uh, Liberty NNS software. Like I said, it'll take a few minutes for this to start popping some things up and change over to the uh, Pi icon like this guy and it'll start showing this stuff and, and all that. But uh, then we can click on the little gear here. You have a lot more options here. I mean, there's so much to this. I mean, you could spend hours on this software to go through everything. I mean, I would definitely recommend you running this on like an Atomic Pi or, or something because it's just a little too slow on the, uh, on the Pi 3. So, anyway, that's pretty much how you uh, add a Raspberry Pi to uh the software so thanks for watching stay tuned for another one